welcome to Simply Scrapping. Narelle here, and today I am doing a layout for Mix It Up Monday. And every month we use mixed media or different elements in with our layouts. So this month we are using this lovely sketch. I'm sorry, I don't know who it's off by the top of my head. I know it came from uh, Chris's Beautiful Life Day 14, I believe, of um, the series 16, but I don't actually know who created it. So I will find that out. Um, and when I edit the video, I'll pop it on the bottom of the screen, but this is the sketch we're doing. I love all the circles. I normally don't use circles on a layout, but this looks really cool. So I'm definitely doing it. You can see my circles have already got pre-cut and inked here. So I've pre-cut them in different sizes and inked the edges of them. And I have a slight adjustment to this. I'm doing two pages, so it's a double page spread, but my layout will be slightly different because my photos are slightly different. So on the sketch they have two portrait photos and then on the right they have one landscape photo. Me being me, I've got to be different. And I have the two portrait photos for the left hand page, but on the right hand page I have two landscapes. So um the right hand page will be a little bit different. But I already have their photos backed. They are full 6x4 photos with backing, so they are quite large. I have all my circles, like I said, already cut out and inked different sizes. And I think there's like four or five different patterns of uh, paper. There is strips at the back of the photos. I have just um, these three colors for my strips. I've cut them and inked the edges. So I've put the tail in the end and inked them as well. And they will probably be cut in half to go either side of the photos. They're ready to go. I have a heading. This is a chipboard heading that I've painted in blue paint. Day A, a day at the beach. So that is the heading. I have some shells here that I found in my brown box. And then I'm using, the paper was from Endless Summer Range from Echo Park. And this is the sticker sheet as well from the collection. I have used some of it, but I'm going to use some of these um, stickers as well. And if I remember at the end, I also want to do a little bit of ink splatter. So fingers crossed, um, I remember to do that. All right, so I'm going to get started. I will speed it up, put music over the top. If you have any questions about what I do, what I'm using, please pop them in the comments below and I will answer them when I can. And I'll be back when the layout's finished.
Okay, there is my completed layout. I love how the circles came out. Really, really cool. Um, it's not something like I would normally do, like I said before. Um, I don't know, I struggle with putting circles on pages. I don't know why. Um, I do realise I have a bit of dead space here between this circle and the banner. So I have two options. I can put um, another strip of this there underneath to make it four on that side and then put another one here. Actually, I might do that. Let's do that. I'm going to have to cut another end. Okay, we're doing this on the fly. So let me just cut another tail. And the other option was to find another embellishment to go there. But I don't think I really wanted another embellishment cluster there. So let's just do this. And the reason I chose the darker blue on this side is because it's on the end over there. So it sort of like mirrors it a little bit. And that means I need to put four down here. So again, I will just pick the lighter blue because that is what's at the top. And over here I've put what's at the top on the bottom. So let's just tuck another one of these under there. Oh, I cut that a little bit short, so let's bring it out as far as we can. That's probably a little bit short. Oh, it works, you know? It works. No, it's still a little bit short. Okay, not happy with that. Let's get another one. I have lots here. This time I'll cut a longer one. Yeah, that one should work. Cut the tail. I'm sorry if I'm off camera doing this, but I don't want the rubbish to end up on the page. So we then just stick this under here, and there it is. Now our page is complete. Look at that. Cool. Hopefully you can see the whole thing. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with how the circles came together. It worked really, really well. Looks like the sketch, somewhat. And I remembered the splutters. Go me. So there you go. I really like that. That was a really fun sketch and I think I'm going to repeat this sketch for something else because that was really cool. I will have a link below to the playlist so you can see what everyone else is doing for Mixed Up Monday. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit that notify bell so you know when my next video comes out. And thank you so much for watching. Have a scrap happy day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.